This is a Wilesco D18 steam engine. I'm going to begin by pointing out its most important parts, beginning with the steam chamber, below which is the fuel chamber. Here's a pressure gauge. We need this to get about here, more or less. Safety valve, smokestack. Here's the main throttle. This is the main wheel. This is a generator, which hopefully would power this light, but it doesn't tend to work. So I'm going to begin by removing the safety valve and I'm going to pour in some heated water using this little funnel. By preheating the water, uh, I can save us some time. We don't have to wait for the water to heat up. And so what we want is enough water so that we can see the water level about halfway up the glass on the front of this steam chamber here. We want to make sure we have enough water so that it never runs empty. If you let the chamber run empty, it will burn up. You know, like a, like a tea kettle, if you let all the water evaporate. You can kind of see the water level on the front, it's a little black line. So that should just about do us. So we'll take that funnel out, replace the safety valve. Okay, now I'm going to unscrew this little valve here and I'm going to apply some grease. This is this uh, really foul smelling stuff you can get from ministeam.com. So I'm going to apply just two or three drops of it and a little bit more at one of the key joints. And this is just to make sure that this guy can run super efficiently. I'm just moving it through. Okay, so I'll replace that cap. Gonna make sure the throttle's all the way down, do a couple final checks. Okay, now we're ready to get the fuel together. So the fuel we're using are these little alcohol fuel tabs made by Esbit. You can use these to power like a camp stove or an MRE stove. They've got a little fish oil in them, so they smell kind of bad when they're lit, which is why we're doing this in the backyard. And they take a little doing to get lit. Okay, that one's caught. Okay. So we're basically ready to go. In we go. All right. And now we just wait for it to come up to pressure. Right, and we're back. We are rapidly approaching our needed pressure. We could run it now. You can start to see it bubbling, but I'm just gonna wait just a little longer. We 
And you can already hear it start whistling, which means that it's really ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to open up the throttle. And give it a quick push. And boom, so it's really going. And you can actually see the light kind of vibrating. But believe it or not, we didn't quite build up enough pressure to actually light the light. And there's the whistle. You can use that to let off a little pressure. I just want to show you the smokestack. Okay, so that's a steam engine. It's really going. I think I might turn that throttle down a little bit just so you can maybe see it operating a little bit more clearly. 